So you're loading up the the drink mixer here, I see. Automated drink mixer. Uh, uh, what is it called? The automated drink mixer. Okay. And so we have here uh, Coca-Cola, sweet yeah. tea, Sprite, Sprite, and lime juice. Lime, lemon, lime, lemon, juice. lime yeah. juice. Yeah, and grenadine. And, and grenadine. And there's a glass on a turntable underneath. And a push button menu. And a push button menu. And do you index the glass to start out with? Um, so the glass always starts out at the front like this. Um, there's a little bit of leeway. Uh, so this, every time it passes a black strip of tape, it, um, oh, there's a photo sensor over there's there. A, on the there's an IR board. photo sensor. So um, it fires the int zero uh, interrupt vector on the rising edge. So as long as you start without getting a count on this black strip of, strip of tape, as long as this is past the this, this sensor, okay. then you can start it anywhere. Okay, and so we have the... Shirley Temple, Arnold Palmer, Coke and Sprite, Coke and Lime, very good. Um, strictly an alcoholic. And um, solenoid valves on each of the each of the containers. Uh huh. All right. Can um, can we see it run? As yes. Long as it... What do you What would you like? Oh, I'd like a, a Coke and Lime, please. Okay. And so it's putting the Coke in. Now it's putting the lime in. And now it's serving it up. How very cool. Construction here. You, 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 you have... Uh, you have a turntable, and then a, and then it's a, a friction friction motor on it. Yep, and this is a two-inch wheel connected to a 70 RPM motor, um, connected to a 14-inch Lazy Susan, just from Walmart. Um, and so that spins this at about 10 RPM. Uh -huh. So. So you got a lot, a, a, not, a lot of torque. A lot of torque, and it's slow enough as to not spill any of the liquid, right. or knock over the glass. And and because you have feedback through the photo sensor there, you don't have to. You know, slip doesn't matter to you. Yeah. Slip I mean, doesn't matter as long as it, it's traction remains. Right. Yeah, as long as you can actually torque it, which it seems like you can. And and the this is PVC pipe holding the the uh, the bottles up. Yeah. And because they're in the center, the, the, the force of the bottles themselves is holding everything together, right? It's pushing it all together. Yeah. All just leans against this piece right here. And, the, and the, you know, you've got these cute little solenoid valves. Now, that, there must be some fairly heavy drivers down here on the board, circuit board. For those. Yeah. Oh, I see the big transistors there. Yeah. Power transistors yeah. here, and then protection diodes and capacitors right there. Uh huh. Minimum PSI or pressure requirement of three PSI. The valves. Yeah. yeah. And so that really wasn't when our bottles got about halfway oh, wow. through. That's kind of when that reached that threshold and it would stop flowing. And so um, what we did is we modified them slightly. And uh, the way that they work is that there's a piston on a spring that, um, when the valves aren't activated, is pushing the gasket closed inside. And then uh, when they're activated, the piston gets pulled back by the magnetic field. And then if the PS, if the pressure is great enough, it flows through that. Uh -huh. um, but what we did is we super glued the piston to the gasket. So when you activate oh, it, it pulls it back. It pulled it back. Yeah, well, that's clever. Um, so that kind of got rid of that. There's still very slight minimum PSI, but it's uh, you know it's much much less. Than but, and and apparently it's working for the coke because you just pulled half of the volume of that coke out of there, and it's and it's just fine. Do a, a Sprite and Grenadine now. Mm -hmm. Okay, go right ahead. Okay. So.
Very cool. And um, how is it, how are you getting the volumes? Is it by time or is so, it by? As Austin described, we modified each of the valves. So actually, they all have slightly different flow rates now. So that was actually pure testing. So they all actually have different times. Um, and our dispense function actually dispenses the same amount each time you call it, despite what drink you're making. So uh, we just call it over and over again. So for this one, uh, our bigger our bigger containers dispense um, a fourth of um, what we want in the 16 ounce 16 ounce glass. So we call that four times, and then we kind of have a dash of function for the smaller mixers. Oh, I so let me get up over the top where I can see the smaller ones. Yeah, yeah. there they are. Okay. Very good.